Seijou Ishii offers savory products with no additives, including MSG. Today, we will be talking about MSG in Japan. But the word MSG is not well known in Japan. No. So that's another thing that I was surprised because MSG is something that Japanese invented. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why haven't we ever heard? Yeah, because the name is different. Oh. That's why. It is commonly called Ajinomoto. Oh, that's a brand. Yeah. MSG is actually umami. Oh, Japanese umami? Yes. Oh. Umami. The word umami is getting more uh, well known mm. in English speaking countries. But not a lot of um, Westerners know that MSG is, MSG is actually umami. Mm -hmm. and the seasoning to create the umami so the cooking mm -hmm. so um, I guess some people just think MSG is really bad for your health mm -hmm. but it's just a concentrated seasoning mm -hmm. of umami ingredients mm -hmm. it's commonly used in Asia too yeah that's why I think um, it was it was used to called Chinese restaurant syndrome mm. when people had some health concerns after eating food that contained MSG. Mm. But it's not scientifically proven yet. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't really know where to stand on this topic right. because I personally felt some um, skin breakouts too. Uh -huh. So that's why I decided to avoid them. Mm. But I don't know if it's actually because of MSG. Right. Or not, right? I mean, when you but if, when you live in Japan, it's mm -hmm. really easy to consume mm -hmm. umami. Yes. So it, it's it's included everything like miso okay. soup and mm -hmm. you know, even like yakisoba eki, noodles, everything. Yes. So you can't really tell that. Oh, my skin problem is it because of the MSG or something else? Something else. Like mm -hmm. maybe air is different, or right, right. I tend to have a busier schedule in mm. when I was living could in Tokyo. Stress. Yeah, it could be right. stressed too. So I can't really right. identify the cause. But it's better to avoid it. Avoid it. Yeah, that's why I tend to choose food from Seijo Ishii, mm -hmm. um, which is the grocery store brand that tries to avoid cut down on any additives. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little pricey than mm -hmm. usual supermarket or convenient food, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. Yeah, I think definitely. it's worth it too. Yeah. Because it, let's say if you have a skin problem and you invest in a lot of cosmetic exactly. products, that's gonna cost that's you so like, expensive. I don't know, $60 or even like more than $100. Yeah. But it's just, if you shop at um, Seijo Ishii, the difference of price is probably like 200 yen. Yeah, it's like not that dollars, too expensive. Not like a Whole Foods. No, not like Whole Foods. Whole Foods is kind of expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's pricier if you shop in Whole Foods. I guess Canadian Whole Foods was even more expensive exactly. compared to the US ones. Yeah. yeah. But even in Seijo Ishii, like mm -hmm. Obento or D or like Breads, mm -hmm. that's actually like a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And if, But yeah. if you want to buy like imported like mm -hmm. tea or like coffee or snacks, that yeah. could be a little more expensive. That's but, true. But just convenient foods. Uh, no, 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 the Bento. Mm -hmm. Bento is pretty. Yeah. Seijo Ishii has its own central kitchen, so they make those cooked food within their own quality control. Oh, that's why. Right. Yeah, so I think the cost can be reduced and also the quality can be maintained. Mm. So, yeah, imported food has like tariffs included and then all the transportation costs, so it yeah. tends to get costly, right. I think. Oh, do you think um, MSG is Artificial or natural? Sounds like an artificial... Right? right? And then it is... So if it's in the form of seasoning, it is considered um, artificial flavoring or seasoning. But the actual ingredients of MSG is from kelp. Oh! Kelp is um, one of the... Yeah, kombu seaweed. And that's just a traditional way of us making dashi, right? Right. Um, Japanese broth. So, so I guess 
Maybe because they wanted to make a product that is easy for people to create the umami flavor, mm -hmm. um, which was in the form of MSG. Then people started using too much. Mm -hmm. And then if you intake something too much, of course it's gonna cause some health problems. Yeah, with anything. Yeah, with anything, like sugar, salt, or anything. Mm -hmm. But the scary part is that you can't taste MSG even if you exceed some decent amount. Oh. So, so you cannot tell they are actually tell. consuming a lot. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, that's why scary. I think um, sometimes people have some health issues because they just take in too much. Mm. Yeah. And another reason that we don't we didn't know about MSG is that it is written in a different name on all the packages. Wow. Yeah. What is it? It's called amino acid seasoning. I mean, acid seasoning. Yeah, I see that every in every lab label. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right. So we we didn't think it was MSG or something that could be um, harmful or have negative health effects. Um. So yeah, amino san to miyo is a Japanese word. I'll just have it here, <laughs> here somewhere. So, so we can case, watch out. <laughs> yes, watch out for it. If you have any sensitivity towards mm -hmm. MSG, that's the word that you want to avoid. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think. So yeah, I kind of got like geeky and nerdy. Oh, that's very educational. <laughs> Thank you. <I> <laughs> I hope you're advocating. Ad advocating yeah. is mm -hmm. like I don't know, like like two years ago, three years ago. Already? Yes, you knew about this. Yeah, I had a I wrote a blog entry about it, mm -hmm. and then it's still one of my second to top popular entries nowadays. Whoa. Yeah, maybe yeah. after this video, yeah. people <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to more. know about it, yeah. know more about it. I'll link up. <laughs> It's in Japanese. Yeah, it's in Japanese. So, um, just Google put translation. it in a, yeah, Google Translate. If you ever been to Seijo Ishi, mm. and let us know what's your favorite um, food or products there. Yes. We'd love to hear. Ah, looking forward to your comments. Yes. Okay. okay. It's good. <laughs>